All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. You like him, don't you? Yes, I like him. But I don't think he sees me in that light. What light? I saw the way he looked at you when he saw you. I think he's attracted to you. Me? Oh, you know you're a very pretty girl. Well, thanks for the compliment. And you're also beautiful as well. Oh. Well, <laughs> All right. Yeah. But I'm seriously attracted to him. Okay, fine. Since you like him, why don't you tell him? No, I can't. Why? Chantel, listen. I can't. Listen. It's the 21st century. You need to shoot your shot. Right? Of course I'm right. Yes. I should send him a message. It's not even like he's going to see me. Okay? Mm -hmm. I got the message. Message? What message? Wait. It wasn't you? Oh, no. It wasn't me. It was my friend. Yes, my friend. Yeah? Your friend? Yes. Good night. Good night. Diana. Good morning. Good morning. We already... I'm busy. D, please. Please, now. I'm sorry. Chantal, what do you want me to say? What exactly do you want me to say? I am sorry. Listen, I actually mean to do it. I froze immediately. I think the moment I opened my mouth, that was the first thing that came out of it. And why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me anything? You just kept me in the dark. I'm sorry. Please. Please, dear. Chantal, just leave me alone, please. But see, I can't leave you. I beg you, stop. Look at her face. It's okay. Thank the deed has been you. done. What's going on here? Ah, oh, Cameron, you're here. <laughs> Don't Cameron me. You are kissing my woman? What? I'm not your woman. But you you sent me that text message. You, you said you liked me. You're just gonna turn around now and and say this? Fine. I agreed. I sent that text message. But that was because I was fooled by your looks. Yes. But getting to know you, I realized that you were not my type. So can you please leave me alone? <laughs> so in this one, the new meaning of love, um... <laughs> Yeah, it's the 21st century and, you know, a guy, a girl, either way, you should just shoot your shot. Uh, don't shoot your shot on a married person's uh, partner. Or not. <laughs> don't you know, shoot your shot at the right direction. As you guys can see in this one, uh, you know, it's, it's really just teaching us to, you know, at the beginning or when you're about to start a relationship, it's always good to be honest, you know, and I think I've talked about this in another video. Um, it, it, it's good to be honest because if for any reason, you know, you, you plan on being serious with this person and later on they kind of find out that you've, you lied at an earlier stage, it, it, it kind of really messes with the relationships dynamics uh if the person had 100 percent trust in you all of a sudden and they're doubting you uh, and you know what not a lot of scenarios could come out of it you know but you know in this case she lied that it wasn't had her sent a text that was accidentally sent but it came from her phone nonetheless and she denied it only for the guy to go through a lot of hula hoops. You know, as good as it is an incident that they ended up coming back together, the bottom line is that she still lied at that beginning stage about not being the one that sent the text message and about not being the one that was interested in him. And, you know, I, you guys can see if you watch the movie, which I recommend you guys go and watch, uh, the link, of course, is at the bottom. 
you would see that you know he liked her from the get-go but the fact that she now lied kind of created that rift in his mind when he later found out and you know obviously it's no longer the same because you know now he's upset now and he's not even sure if she could be trusted and you know all what not so the lesson here is you know be, be honest from the get-go you know you know be honest with your partner be honest when you're dating uh, you know the early stages if there's something that is a little dark secret here and there don't assume that the person will hate you for it you know tell them you know sometimes they would still resent you and not want you but it's better that they do this up front you know so you don't waste your energy and your resources investing it into a relationship that would still not work out when he finally finds out and this goes both ways there's a lot of issues that could come up but whatever it is Tell him, let him know. If he's going to walk, let him start walking from the get-go. That you like him doesn't change the fact that he will still walk whenever he finds out. So, be honest. You know, let him know. And, you know, if it's uh, the other way, either way, let, him, let them know. So that they will decide if they want to be there or if they don't want to be there with you. And if they now decide to be there, now you're living a free spirit. You don't have to hide anything. You don't have to worry about anything. You know, they've accepted you and whatever blemish that you think, uh, you know, uh, that you are planning on hiding. And now, you know, you can really enjoy your relationship, you know, let it go to any extent. You know, because as long as in your mind you know you're still hiding something, somehow it affects your happiness in the relationship because you are not sure what would now happen later when he finds out you know and it's gonna haunt you it's gonna haunt you bad so just let it out and then let them decide and if they're in you know they're in for good that's pretty much it on this if you love this kind of content please like share follow subscribe this is cj from mccary studios and i'm here to deliver sense